All right, welcome back to Unleash, the most legit Celtics podcast in the game. Now, today, we have the final episode, the final episode of the Celtics player grading series that we've been doing. Um, We've broken it up into three player increments so far. And, you know, I feel like each and every episode has built up to this moment where we are finally grading some of the big names here. Actually, the rest of the big names on the team. We're not doing three names today. We are doing five players. We have Marcus Smart, Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward, and Jason Tatum. We got one video with the the best five players on the team, and we're going to be grading them. Um, A little disclaimer here. I don't know if the grades are going to matter as much for these guys as they did for the Brad Wanamakers or the the Cantors or the Tice, some of those names that we got a really good uh, response to in terms of feedback. These guys, the five that we're looking at today, all have had phenomenal seasons in my opinion. You know, so I don't think there's going to be much room for, oh, what's Ev going to grade them? Because they're all having really good seasons. But I think um, it's still worth talking about, still worth breaking down, still talking about the ups and downs um, of what they've contributed to this season. So um, don't put too, too much weight into the grade, I guess, because I'm sure you can assume what most of these guys are going to get. Um, Their parents are going to be happy based on this report card. So we'll jump right into it. We have Marcus Smart as the first name, in my opinion, and it should be in your opinion, you right there. It should be in your opinion. That Marcus Smart is the captain of this team. He is the heart and soul. He's the tone setter. And I believe the longest tenured Celtic, right? So Marcus Smart should 1 million percent be the captain. Um, And it's making me think back to that little, uh, the first win for the Unleashed Army, where you guys kind of named yourself the audience of the show. We had the live show, but a Celtics writer had said Marcus Smart is nowhere near captain material. And boy, oh boy, we unleashed the hounds and the Unleashed Army was born. So shout out to you guys. Um, But yeah, Marcus Smart, the captain of this team. How is he doing? I'm giving Marcus Smart an A. Shocker there. The guy's having his best offensive season of his entire career. And meanwhile, the defense is just still there. The intensity is still there. The leadership, the grit, the determination, everything is still there for the guy. Marcus Smart is having, you know, his best year as a pro, in my opinion. 13.5 points, five assists, four rebounds, almost two steals a game. He's shooting 35% from three while nearly doubling his three-point attempts from last year. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I can't really knock Marcus Smart this year. Marcus Smart has been the, the cog that keeps this team going, and I don't see how you can disagree with that. I would have told you you were crazy. You know, just a couple years ago, Marcus Smart's going to set records in terms of some shooting games and, you know, have some, you know, 25-plus point nights. I would have said, yeah, right. I mean, you tell me 25-plus steal nights, I'll believe you. But a 25-point night from Marcus Smart, I don't think so. And he's cranking them out there. So shout out to Marcus Smart again. These grades, like I said, it's an A, and I don't see how you can even deny that. Like, if Marcus Smart's an A-, minus, tell me what it is. Like, what is making you knock him down a couple pegs? He hasn't punched a picture this year. He, I feel like, in my opinion, he's not getting tossed out of all these games. The only negative you can say about him is when Marcus Smart thinks he's hot, that ball is going towards the rim. He is hucking him. But at the same time, when Marcus Smart's hot, Marcus Smart's pretty fucking hot. Like... You can't deny that. When Marcus Smart is feeling it, he's feeling it. So uh, Marcus Smart's getting an A from us. He has been um, the leader in terms of on the defensive end especially, but the fact that he's paired it now with his best offensive season of his career, he's really turning into a player. And I feel like people forget how young he is. You know what I mean? Like you think Marcus Smart, oh, he's the longest tenured Celtic on the team. Um, He's almost the veteran of that team. Marcus Smart started this season as a 25-year-old, 26 now. He's still young. He's not even at his prime yet. He's got a couple years until his so-called prime. Let's go, Marcus. Let's go, Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart gets an A. Um, You know, I could go on and on. We could have had his own episode of this player grading series talking about him because, like Daniel Tyson, I don't want to spoil what I gave Daniel Tice. Check out last episode. Like Daniel Tice, Marcus Smart has been that sort of unmentioned hero to this season. Everyone wants to call note to Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and then Kemba. But Marcus Smart's right there, like literally right there in terms of how important he is to this team. So shout out to Marcus. Let's move on to Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker, I want to preface this because I still get people in my mentions when I, when I mention Kemba. There's people that think Kemba Walker's literally, quote, a good basketball player. When I call him a star or superstar, Kemba Walker is beyond a good basketball player. 
These are the same people, mind you, that like all of us, when Kyrie just came to the Celtics, we were saying we got an absolute superstar. Kemba Walker and Kyrie Irving are the exact same caliber player. So you want to call one a superstar and one a good player? I don't get it. Kemba Walker is far better than good. In my opinion, he's a superstar, but he's at the very least 1 million, 1 trillion, 1 billion percent a star. So let's get that out there. Kemba Walker, um, yes, the one knock I'm going to give him here, and I'm going to just get it out of the way. I hate when guys play in the All-Star game and then come back to the regular season and are either injured or sit out games or just off because of injury. That drives me up a wall. So there's a knock for Kemba Walker, but Kemba Walker, in my opinion, is still getting an A, not quite an A-plus because of that sort of, you know, he's having his highest injury frequency career year. So he's a, a not an A-plus level for me, but Kemba Walker, sure. You know, he's averaging 20, what, 22 points per game. People are like, oh, that's a little bit lower than he has been the past, you know, three or four years. Kemba Walker has opened doors for Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. Even Gordon Hayward allowed him to get back a little bit. Kemba Walker has been the superstar of this team that we didn't have last year. Hell no, that we didn't have two years ago. We have a guy that we can literally rely on to hit big shots all the time, yet he doesn't feel like he always needs to take them. Kemba Walker has been, in my opinion, the biggest reason Jason Tatum's doing what he's doing, you know, outside of what Jason Tatum has done um, working in the gym and uh, on his own craft. But Kemba Walker, the biggest reason for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown just soaring this year. Look at what they had last year. Like, you're telling me that you make a huge change, like going from Kyrie to Kemba, and you're going to not attribute any of this Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown growth to that change? It's a huge shakeup in the roster. And Kemba Walker, you can tell by his attitude, he's okay with a 21, 22-year-old going off that night. He doesn't need to be the center of attention. He doesn't need to be the biggest name on every single night or in big games. We saw Tatum dropping 40 and 39 against LA. Like, Kemba Walker seemingly okay with that. He just wants the win. He doesn't have a, oh, I always can get mine. So, and how many times have we heard Kemba Walker say, oh, I can score anytime I want? Like we heard Kyrie say multiple times. Kemba Walker, that that reason alone should bump up his grade. Like, forget it. He could be averaging 15 points a game. But for Kemba Walker to be a superstar and also allow Jason Tatum to grow, allow Jalen Brown to grow, a guy that everyone said, oh, he's just like Kyrie. He shoots just as much, yada, yada, yada. No. Kemba Walker has been phenomenal for the growth of these young guys. Um, last year, he was averaging 20 field goal attempts per game. He's tapered that down to 16. It's only four shots, but, you know, it's shown that he's been willing to adjust. And, um, you know, I can't knock Kemba Walker for anything other than the injury bug that he's never had in his career. He's already missed more than he missed in the previous, like, five seasons combined. So you got to knock him for that. That's been a constant theme as we talk about the hospital Celtics on this series. It's like, I don't let guys get by with injury. It's got to deduct some points from your grade, which it is for Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker would be an A-plus, in my opinion, had it not been for all these injuries. So shout out to him for opening the floor and not being the selfish prick that we had last year. Moving on now to Jalen Brown, a guy that absolutely went from being on the bench last year. Remember that. Jalen Brown got benched and then plucks right up this season and is having, in my opinion, what should have been an all-star season. At the time of recording, 20-point Four points per game, 50 games played, six and a half rebounds. The guy is just having the best year of his career, and I'm hoping that he just continues to grow because they just paid him that money. This season alone has shown those those haters that were out there saying, you know, why'd you pay Jalen Brown, you know, 115 plus million dollars? He can't do that. What do you mean? The kid's 20, what, three? Averaging 20 points a game, seven rebounds a game? Should have been an all-star? Jalen Brown has shown, I can do this, because he is by no means a finished product. He's still like, what does he do best? You don't know. He does a lot of everything. But 20 points a game on nearly 50% from the field. Look at every single metric of Jalen Brown. He's having an up year. He's having a career year. And uh, obviously, it's a short career, but that's what you want to see. So Jalen Brown, in my opinion, another A. Shocker there. He's not at the A-plus level yet. Had he made the All-Star team, had he had that in his fourth season, had he had that accolade of making the All-Star team, it would have been an A-plus. Um, even though I'm saying I believe he's an All-Star, there is some sort of rep that comes with this. And, you know, if he were to be named an All-Star, I'm saying that's really the only thing holding him back from an A-plus season. Because, um, again, this is all based on expectations. 
if Jalen Brown was an all-star this year, no one really saw that coming. It would have exceeded expectations exponentially. You know, I'm sorry if you're a huge Jalen Brown fan. I love him too, but I think everyone in this, uh, watching this or listening to this episode would be okay going home to mom and pop with an A. Let's move on to Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward, I'm not giving an A. All right? I'm not giving an A, but um, I will say this. He's looking like he's starting to get back. People are acting like Gordon Hayward isn't anywhere near back. Gordon Hayward's averaging, and he was averaging a lot more before his few injuries. Gordon Hayward's averaging 17 points a game, seven rebounds, four assists. He's played 45 games. He's starting in all those. He's playing almost 34 minutes in the games that he does play. Gordon Hayward, you know, the prime Gordon Hayward was averaging 21, his all-star season, 21 points per game. It's not like he's far off from that. And we talked about this a couple weeks back when we had Dante on the show. Go listen to it if you haven't. Like, people underestimate it. They, they have this idea of what Gordon Hayward was, and it's like he's the greatest player of all time, and, and he's so far from that right now. No, Gordon Hayward was looking like he's getting back there. Now, he just had gotten banged up before um, coronavirus took over the NBA. But all in all, looking at the whole season, Gordon Hayward was getting there prior to, um, what, fracturing his hand. He was going off. Averaging over 20 points a game. Like, Gordon Hayward was there. He was on the cusp of becoming that all-star Gordon Hayward. An injury bug got to him. Like it has with a lot of guys this season. So, that's the only thing that's keeping me from putting Gordon Hayward in an A range. And, in fact, the injury bug has been so bad for him that he almost went to a B plus. But I couldn't do it to him because that would be feeding into you idiot haters out there. The, the Hayward haters, the trade word people. I couldn't give him, I couldn't bump him out of the A range because he doesn't deserve that. So uh, Gordon Hayward, A minus. I want to put him at an A, but those injuries, you got to pay note to the injuries. And it sucks for him because he's under a microscope. Like, I feel like people in Boston don't appreciate Gordon Hayward. The ones that do, do. And you know who you are. You know that I'm one of those guys. When he gets injured and doesn't play, the haters have uh, an argumentative point to say, hey, what do you mean? Like, you know, you're paying this guy a max contract and he keeps getting injured. So... What are you going to do? He has getting, he's been getting injured. I can't deny that, but uh, still A- minus for Gordon Hayward, in my opinion. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, 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 Jason Tatum. Yeah, I might go and try and secure that Celtics announcer job. Um, Jason Tatum, the problem. Um, what can we say? Like, what can we say negatively about this kid? 24 points per game, over seven rebounds. Damn, Jason Tatum, all-star at age 21, third year in the league, and he's already taken this league by storm. He is an absolute confirmed superstar. If you disagree with that, you're wrong, because he is. Nick Wrong, I'm talking to you. Jason Tatum. Now, here it is, the climax of this entire series. My grade for Jason Tatum on this season is A- Plus, 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 plus. Jason Tatum getting an A plus for sure. Why? Because this is based on expectations. Everyone expected him to, you know, take a leap or be really good. But did you expect a near 10 points per game leap? And, oh, it's not all about the numbers, Ev. Jason Tatum's a scorer. We drafted Jason Tatum to be a scorer, to be a superstar. Superstar scorer. Jason Tatum is a scorer. He's in his bag. He's in his suitcase every single night. He's pretty much patented that sidestep. Whoo. Whoo wee. Jason Tatum, an A plus infinity for this season so far. 21 years old in All Star. He had an incredible, what was it, month of February where he averaged, let me do the math real quick. He averaged 90,000 points a game. Damn. You know, we could literally, literally talk about Jason Tatum. And, um,. You know, I think he's been by far the most important, and this is not a hot take whatsoever, the most important player of this entire season because the Celtics aren't where they are if Jason Tatum doesn't take this leap. Like, he makes Neil Armstrong's leap look like a cakewalk. All you NASA fans and Moon fans, I'm sorry for offending you. Jason Tatum, an A++++, 24 points a game, 21. I think he's 22 now, obviously, but still, he's still always going to be the still 19 kid in my mind. Um... And he's the perfect guy to end this series with because no one saw this leap coming. Whether you're a Celtics fan, whether you're the biggest Jason Tatum fan in the world, no one saw this leap coming. And if you are watching on YouTube, we are wearing the newest JT merch that we have, The Problem. Um, there's a discount code. It's unleashed, 20% off at GuyBostonSports.com store. So you can pick up this T-shirt. I believe 
I don't know, for under 15 bucks, you might want to snag that. Um, but yeah, where was I? Jason Tatum. It's, it's, it's crazy to think back to last season when we knew Jason Tatum was good. We love him. He's something about him was going to be the next legend, right? And then he has last year where he improved from his rookie year, but mm, did he like, did he? Cause we wanted more of a leap last year. Right. And he kind of had in what some might consider a regression year. And then all of a sudden, you know, you get you get fans thinking, oh, maybe he's not as good as we think. Maybe Jason Tatum isn't the next legend. And then, boom, he comes in and just goes, I'm a stud. I'm a superstar. I'm going to take this league by storm. I'm going to lock up Kawhi. I'm going to outplay LeBron. I'm going to do everything and anything under the sun to prove to Celtics fans, to prove to NBA fans, to prove to Jason Tatum haters that I'm a superstar. And he did it. So uh, it sucks for him because, honestly, in my opinion, he's – got like the most to lose in terms of this NBC, NBA season getting paused and canceled, whatever you want to call it, because he was on a tear. And I hate the take, oh, before they canceled, Jason Tatum was having a bad March. Kid was still averaging 25 a game. The fact that we have Jason Tatum haters that have to rely on the fact that he's only averaging 25, it means he's doing bad. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I just have to laugh in your face. Recapping here, we looked at Marcus Smart. We looked at Kemba, Jalen, Gordon, and Jason all have great grades. Um, like I said, it's 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 not really about the grades on this episode. It's more or less to uh, to talk about what they've done and how important they've been to this team. Shout out to you guys for enjoying this series. If you're watching on YouTube, please, I'm praying. Look at these hands. I'm praying. Hit that subscribe button, like, and then let me know in the comments what your grades for these players are. Um, as always, you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, anywhere you listen to your podcasts. We're there, and if we're not, let me know, and I'll make sure we get us there. Um, follow along, leaving reviews, ratings, anything you can do in your part if you are enjoying the show to take this small production and send it to the moon and grow the Unleashed Army, please do your part. So, uh, again, shout out to you guys. This has been an awesome, awesome series. I will say, we're doing the videos now, and the video numbers just don't even sniff the ass of the Apple Podcast or the Spotify download number. So we got to get this video thing going. I know you guys enjoy it. Um, we're working on it. We got the graphics. We got this pretty face. So, um, you know, to the moon. We're growing the Unleashed Army by the day. And I just want to say thank you yet again. I feel like every episode we're hitting a new milestone. And I'm like, oh, thank you guys. But no, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And uh, stay tuned. Until next time.